Hello and good morning guys and welcome back to another video. So it's early today again, uh, we're traveling to Bonaire as you can probably see from the title of the video. So it's currently like 5.30 a.m. Um, we got to take the car to Schiphol Airport, which is about a two hour drive for us, and then get in the plane and we have about a 10 hour flight to Bonaire. So sit back, relax and enjoy and see you guys in a bit. Just arrived in Bonaire, guys. It's a pleasant 32 degrees Celsius here. It's amazing. We're at the Dolphins Beach Resort. I'm gonna show you guys around the apartment we have, a little bit around the resort. And then tomorrow we've got a Catamaran tour planned. We're gonna do some snorkeling. I have a GoPro with me as well, so I'm gonna show you guys everything. And then of course, later this week, we're gonna be playing some football as well, guys. So stick around for that. at a place called the Thousand Steps. We're just doing some island exploration, um, some snorkeling along the coast. Supposed to be one of the best spots on the island. And the views are amazing as well. It's called the Thousand Steps, but it's, I think it's only like 72 steps down to a little uh, rural beach. I think I can say this place is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I mean, look at this. Stand still, otherwise I'm gonna fall. My goodness, the color of the water is crazy. Hopefully, we see some turtles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> boy. step in the water Yana points out a sea turtle straight away we put the masks on and it's just swimming right there and we saw another turtle as well so yeah if you're ever here this place is beautiful if you're in Bonaire definitely check this place out a thousand steps but bring some some water shoes because this is all just kind of dead coral and it hurts your feet I didn't have any but I survived but I'd rather bring water shoes for the next time we were wanting to go to the National Park here as well which is called Slok by Slok High something like that but unfortunately it was kind of bad weather, it was raining quite hard. So I think the, the roads there are kind of rough, especially if you don't have a rental SUV, which we don't have. So we might have to do that next time. So we're gonna check out a few more places and yeah, that's it. Okay, so we were gonna go snorkeling in a few different places, but now we ended up in a donkey sanctuary. Where, so there's this place on the island where they have about seven to 800 donkeys. Um, apparently they came from Spain. So now we're gonna drive through this little uh, donkey place and see some donkeys. And they have flamingos and turtles as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> What a great day. I mean, we did some snorkeling, drove around the island. It's a beautiful place here. The water's stunningly blue. The visibility is insane. We saw a few beautiful places here for now, but the rest of the day, we're just gonna relax, unwind, um, have a drink, grab a bite to eat, just relax for now, because we got some more fun stuff to do while we're here, and you guys will see. So, guys are fogging up already. Wait, give me a second. Uh. All right, hopefully that's better. So we're about to go on a catamaran trip. It's gonna be sick and take you guys along, take the GoPro as well, get some good footage of that. And then later this week, we're gonna do awesome stuff as well. So here we go. Good morning, guys. 
Friday. It's another beautiful day here on the island of Bonaire. We're gonna go check out this beach gym, which is supposed to be quite cool. I mean, it looks cool. So uh, we got a bit of a workout going. Nothing too crazy because it's really warm. So uh, yeah, here we go. Here we are, guys. We're at the beach gym Bonaire. We're gonna do a bit of a workout here. Nothing crazy because we're on holiday, of course, but still gotta get a good workout in. But I mean, look at the views here. This is insane. Insane gym. Time to get some work on. Here we go. Yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the mist, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. I want to tour and put on for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me. All right, so in the gym here, there's a little challenge. We go throw a bag as far as you can. So. All right, this place is amazing, but it is so warm here. So everything's a bit more, a bit tougher than usual, but amazing place view is stunning and nice to get a workout in while on holiday so. all right guys what's up so today is saturday a few days ago i had a meeting with a guy called robert he's someone from the canva bay he's responsible for the initiative called world coaches here in bonaire um, they do some awesome stuff i'll put a link in the description definitely go check that out um, they're in several countries so i had a meeting with him had a meeting with a local person yehan who's responsible for some of the football clubs here as well they made it possible for me to train together with one of the clubs here on the island of bonaire the club's called real rincon if i say that correctly uh, so we're about to go over there to the stadium we're going to be training there definitely going to be a bit getting used to the climate here because it's quite warm and I'm not used to that but it did rain today so I think we'll be all right just arrived at the stadium of Rincon as you, there's a Dutch fire truck outside here as well it's very weird because we flew nine hours and because Bonaire is one of the Dutch islands people still speak Dutch here so having been in a plane for nine hours and arriving here and still having people speak Dutch is very weird but yeah this is what it looks like from the outside very excited to see what it's like from the inside so all right, so apparently they switched locations because of the baseball going on here and we just got notified so time to drive back quickly to the other stadium which is half an hour drive and then hopefully we can join here we go arrived at stadium number two this is it from the outside looks quite cool so we're gonna see i think we're a bit too late but we'll see if we can join them uh, here we go hey check it put the place up a bit getting used to it they invited me in they were very friendly um, trained together with the team there was another goalkeeper great guy dude's 15 years old he made some crazy saves um, great goalkeeper and of course they speak Dutch here which is nice to be able to communicate well um, it was fun the field was kind of tough as you might be able to see I do have some uh, turf burns but all right now we're gonna go back and I'll speak to you guys back at the resort 
All right, so that was it for the training with uh, Rayal Rincon, one of the teams here in Bonaire. Uh, uh, it was kind of hectic, you know, we went to the wrong place um, and we, were, we had to drive half an hour back to get to the right place. But in the end, we got there and we were allowed to train with them. So thank you guys, if you are watching, to the people at Rayal Rincon for accepting me to train with you guys. I know it was kind of weird maybe for someone to just walk into the stadium and be like, hey, can I train with you? But you know, football's football, and I think that's that's kind of the message, the underlying message here in this video that um, football is an international language, and uh, as long as you play together, you communicate together, and that's all good, right? So um, I mean, it was tough training. Uh, we got kind of straight into it. Um, it was great to you know you're on holiday, but still being able to do some goalkeeping stuff. I know the season back in the Netherlands is going to be starting soon, so it was great to kind of still get some stuff going. It was tough. Um, because it's very warm and I'm not used to the climate as well, so, but you know, um, and I got quite some bad turf burns, if you guys can see that, yeah, that's gonna stay there for a while, but yeah, nevertheless, so we got a couple of days left here in Bonaire, it's gonna enjoy, relax, and then we're gonna head back home, and then the season's gonna start, so, so that was it for our time here in Bonaire, uh, today was our last day, uh, we just packed all our stuff, and it's time to head to the airport and go back home. So I'll uh, speak to you guys when we're back home. Back home. Whew. It was a long, uh, long journey. Nine hours back. Um, I did get some sleep on the flight, like an hour. But still, it's kind of weird traveling back in time because we left there at um, five in the afternoon and then we arrived at 10 in the morning. So we kind of flew through the night. And now today is just a very, very long day because we arrived at 10 in the morning and then Kind of slept a bit just now, but we still have stuff to do because tonight I got a football match, a friendly match. Um, I'll bring a GoPro along, maybe share some footage for you guys on social media. It's nothing special. So, um, yeah, and then Sunday we have a cup game with the team as well. So, I'm definitely filming that game as well. So, I'll show you guys some footage of that on social media, maybe on YouTube as well. Think about it. But yeah. So. This was such a fun video to make. I mean, being able to travel to Bonaire and uh, go on holiday there and also play football with the, with the club there was amazing. The people were great. All in all, such a great experience. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.